Okay, this video will be about creating instant NFT sales store on Solana using sync, things like Metaplex Candy Machine for the Solana program part and Candy Machine Mint for the UI part. It's some kind of quick start guide and I will try to make this video as short as possible. Also, this is heavily based on tutorial by a guy whose name is Levy Korg, so big shot to him and his tutorial Metaplex Candy Machine, I will post link in the description. The idea of application will be like this. We will have some kind of Solana program, which will serve as backend, backend of our application, which will sell, mint and distribute NFTs, store UI for front-end Solana program. It will be Candy Machine made by Metaplex and this will be candy candy machine mint site so let's go one by one creating solana program first for this we will use metaplex github repo you need to clone it his installation guide but it's not really related to candy machine what we need to do we need to go inside of cdgs packages cli js packages cli and now we inside of candy machine beautiful mm, it doesn't have detailed instructions how to run it but i've created some readme file and open a pull request to the metaplex so hope it will be deployed soon anyway when we're inside of cli we need to install everything install all depend dependencies for this we will use yarn install it will install all dependencies i have quick start because i already did it then you need to yarn build, which will build ready to compile files, will create build folder and create all these files. After this, when everything is built, we need to create CLI tools, Metaplex CLI tools, which we will use to deploy, upload files and deploy our program. You can use this command if it will not work for you. And here's another alternative command to build the CLI. I actually already built it. It will be placed in bin, tin, 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 bin, macos, metaplex, or whatever system you have. So here's application. You can copy it in your default path. So you don't need to write each time bin, macos, metaplex. You can write just a metaplex. And here's metaplex help commands we can use with it. So metaplex can upload files and actually register it for further use, verify these files. We can create candy machine, deploy Solana program in other words. We can set start date, we can mint some tokens or buy NFT item to test how it works, find wallets, quite not sure what this command do, I never use it, need to check what is it. Yes, so next we of course need a Solana itself, Solana CLI. If you can, you can Google it like Solana CLI, install Solana tool, follow these instructions and install Solana on your machine. Let's check what I have, Solana version, I have Solana CLI with 1.7.11 version. Next, you need to create wallet for yourself, let's create test wallet. We can use, first let's check what we have in config of Solana, config, config, get. So at the moment, my Solana is set to use DevNet in some test wallet key pair. I will create another one for test purposes. And also, if you have mainnet here, you need to set Solana to use DevNet. You can set it Solana, config, set URL to DevNet, like this, confirmed. Now let's generate our new config Solana, Solana key again, a new out file and I will, but I will call it test wallet key pair two. Okay. You need to save it. I will hide it because you should not see this stuff. Get rid of the personal stuff. Let's configure Solana set key pair to use this new wallet. And now you see confirmed. Here's my wallet and my address will be this one. My balance, I suppose should be zero. Yes, it's zero newly created, but we own the DevNet, so we can just ask for some money, airdrop, like three, three sol to my account. So my balance is three sol 
Also, if you have any problems installing Solana, check YouTube for some tutorials. So let's back to the Metaplex. Now we can use Metaplex. We need this Solana wallet to use it. With Metaplex, run what Metaplex have. Metaplex help. First, we will need to upload all our files. And then we need to run our candy machine, which we will, will sell and distribute our tokens. We can set start date and mint token. So to upload files, I have created assets folder here inside of CLI has one assets. Inside of this assets folder, you can see two images and two JSON files. As basically each NFT you will going to sell will need image and JSON with metadata. So if you will have 10K items, there will be 10K images plus 10K JSON files. Each of these JSON files need to follow Metaplex NFT standard. So I will put link in the description. So basically all your JSON, each of your JSONs need to follow this structure with name, description, seller basis, etc. So here's example of one name, seller basis is how much share you want to get. The 5% will be need to set like 500, 10% will be 1000 in different attributes of your items. Uh, it will be, th these attributes will be displayed on the digital eyes market, for example, or inside of Phantom Wallet. Here's address of the creator. I will use this address, same address I will use for deploy. And you will have shares to this address. Basically, it will have 100% of 5%. One important point here to mention that this image field should have, should look like this. Image, image PNG. Here as well, image PNG, not a URL, but this basically this is placeholder which will be used by Metaplex to replace with real AirWave link. AirWave, AirWave is blockchain storage which will store data permanently or forever. It will replace this image PNG. Ah, yeah, by the way, it may, might be really time consuming to generate like 10,000 of JSON files. So we at Tag Labs created simple script which will take your data in CSV format like this and generate JSON files for it. So create CSV file with 10,000 items and it will generate 10,000 JSON, JSON files for you. Anyway, let's go back to the Metaplex. Now inside of this folder, by the way, I can show you how many NFT I have at the moment. SPL token accounts. So this command will show you how many SPL tokens you have. In other words, how many NFTs you have. I don't have any at the moment. So we have our assets. Now let's use Metaplex upload command. You can use help to find what it needs. Okay, set Metaplex upload assets and DevNet, which is default anyway, and key pair. I will do upload all the stuff. And it's processing these files. It may take some time, especially if you have thousands of them. Seems to be okay. Uh, by the way, one thing, another thing to note, if you will copy this file from Metaplex standard, be sure to replace this field because this is dummy text. It, not, it is not real Solana address and it will just break without explaining why so. Anyway, basically it generates devnet temp file with such code I will... I created another file. I call it assets test just to store this data returned by upload command. Here's some program data and links to our NFT. So here's NFT on Airwave. So here's our metadata all in place and here's image, what I told you about replacing images. Metaplex replaced it with this beautiful zero image. And here's another one, even more beautiful one. Verify items. Solana will verify it, ready to deploy. Okay, so everything is ready to deploy and we can start our application with the command Metaplex. Create candy machine. Here's key and environment devnet. And we also can set price, price, for example, one soul. And I'm starting my machine. And pro Solana program will be deployed now to the Solana. Create candy machine done. And we have ID of this machine. I will edit, save it to this file, bam, like this.
and bam and this one boom we will need this information a bit later so now we have our machine ready to produce candies set start date when we want it to start for example i want to start it right now so metaplex and date will be like this but i will set like this today but in the past so we already can mint the stuff and again the machine is running on the devnet date is updated this is time in unix format let's save it as well to our file we might need it like this okay we have our metaplex store running and now let's check solana my balance on solana two and nine soul and i have zero nft tokens i will remind you that metaplex have mint one token command by the way you can save this keep it as default and not copy paste each time like me do but anyway i like to copy paste metaplex mint i will try to buy one token okay it will take some time but it say it's done and let's check my balance still have two nine so what the hell mm, fuck i send one soul to this program but since this program is bind to my own address it basically send this one soul to the seller which is also me so i'm really a bit fucked up i was need to use different addresses because now I'm just selling one soul to myself. Anyway, let's check what about NFT tokens. Now you see I have one token with balance of one and it will always be one because this is non-fungible token. Let's check this on Solana Explorer. Yeah, a bit fucked up with this addresses, but now you know it and you won't fucked up with it. Just use two different addresses to test it. I need to test it in DevNet, of course. Okay, again, again, here's my address, here's my tokens, and here's my token. Anyway, you see the program run. The problem now, we don't have proper UI for it, because it's kind of will be a bit hard for people to use CLI to mint your NFTs. That's why other cool people, call it Exiled Apes, created Candy Machine Mint UI. This is specifically user interface, which will connect with Candy Machine. Okay, yeah, we created it. Let me go to this folder, Candy Machine Mint. What we have here, we have a simple React application connected and ready to use what we need to do. We need use Yarn install, which is same as just a Yarn. Okay, it is ready. Now I will run Yarn build to build this stuff, but we probably don't need it when running it locally. But okay, I will build it anyway. I think we just need to run yarn start. Okay, blah, 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 do its stuff. But we also will need to create config file, config with all data related to our candy machine. So inside of the folder of candy machine mean create file env dot env, and we need react app candy machine. I suppose this key might be this one from config. Next react app candy machine ID. We get when we run create candy machine command. Copy this. This will be candy machine ID. React up candy start date. We have also this date here. As you remember, we set it manually. Tech. React up Solana network. DevNet. We will use DevNet. Explorer. React up Solana RPC host. I suppose we can use this one. Explorer API DevNet Solana. You might have mainnet here. If you want to use main, let me check. You just can Google Solana main net Solana clusters. So here's api.mainnet. This will be main address, but we have devnet address and react app treasure address. This will be the address where will go all the money. I think so, probably. And it will be Solana same address I used to run the application. I hope that's all. Anyway, everything is described here. Try to start application yarn start. Will we have it? 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 I hope it will start. Okay, you see we have, bam, failed to get balance to account. Hmm. And here's wallet has created 
specifically to test it and it doesn't have a balance. Maybe it, that's the reason why we have error. Let's drop some soul get soul on devnet. Okay, drop me two souls to my address on devnet. It's just fake money on devnet, but anyway, we can use it to test it. And now you see I have two souls in my wallet and here's collection. I don't have any items and also you can see I'm on devnet and let's try again. Connect wallet, failure to get balance of account. Okay, I found the issue, set it to mainnet, but we need devnet, restart the application. If you change something in, in the environment file, you need to restart it. I hope it will work now. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Awesome. Even the rain started outside of the window. This is of course boring interface. We can do some something interesting here. Let's check what we have here in the code. Candy machine. I have checked it before and seen the items available. We can, we have items available, items redeemed. So let's grab this stuff. And on homepage, we use this function get candy machine state and we can grab item available from it like here. So now we have our site. Of course you can make it more beautiful. Anyway, we have two souls. We don't have any collectibles. Press mint, approve transaction. And let's wait a minute. It was to wait. Congratulations, it says mint succeed. And what we have, mostly one soul. And we have beautiful image of number one that nobody in the world have only me. If you like this video, you can support me sending some tips or NFTs to the address in the description. Yo, that's all for now. Hope this video will be helpful to someone. Peace.